Well, the uh, Raw show on Monday night was built around a story where Brock destroyed Cody. He attacked him as the show was going on the air. He smashed this giant metal canister into his arm. Later, Cody came out with his arm in a sling and ice all over the place, and he wanted to fight, and so Brock put him in the Kimura. And essentially, they told us that his arm is broken. But he's going to wrestle anyway. He has a broken arm. But he's going to wrestle. He's going to fight Brock anyway. It's coming yeah. Saturday. They spent the Boy, entire show teasing. It, it he speaks, was not going to be able to uh, compete. It speaks well of uh, medical. All of the storyline is, is the key is that he's not letting anyone from medical see him because they would for sure disqualify him if they checked on him. That was explained at the end of the show. And um, the only thing is, is that if that's the case. I mean, don't you need to get cleared by a doctor to go out there in the first place? Well, you know, there are some holes here in this storyline. There, there, uh, there, sure, there sure are. Yeah, they're, they're essentially trying to recreate last year with Hell in a Cell, where he's last year he went into the match with the torn pack. This year he's going into the match with the, the alleged broken arm. And, I mean, the other thing on top of that is, okay, so we can, we can believe, I guess if we want to, that he's got a broken arm and he's going to fight Brock Lesnar. But, I mean... He's not going to wrestle for eight weeks afterwards or whatever because... I know, I know, and he's I the mean, key. I mean, the broken he's arm the... should not heal immediately after this match. I know, I know, and he's the key guy, you know, him and, you know, he's the main event on all these house shows, and he's the biggest drawing card they have that goes out on the road right now. Um, so it is it is an interesting storyline. You're right, that's a, you know, I mean, are they going to are they going to keep him out for like whatever some time? And then the other thing too, I mean my gut was watching the show and thinking about this was I mean obviously it's a storyline and everything like that. I thought maybe it was a way because Cody won the first one for Brock to win the second one and have Cody completely save face by the idea that well he fought Brock with a broken arm and you know that way you know Brock gets his you know they're split and you can do another match down the line. Um or maybe they just make Cody into a big superhero. But, I mean, I know that with, like, uh, you know, with Dusty, you know, one of the real famous Dusty Rhodes matches was when D Dusty Rhodes won the um, NWA title from Harley Race. And then in the rematch, like a week later, this one was one week deals. I think it was maybe five days or something. But um, Terry Funk broke Dusty Rhodes' arm before the match with Dusty as world champion. But Dusty, in fact, um, back then they didn't have like uh, the kind of medical we have now or anything like that. Dusty did the match with a broken arm and Harley Race won the championship from him. So it allowed Dusty to lose the championship to Harley Race, who was the touring champion at the time, and also save face in Florida, you know, after all those years of chasing it, finally winning it, and then, you know, that was the basically the the deal there. So um, it could be, you know, the impetus to this is I'm sure Cody knows this story, um, and you know, a way to do you that. You know, Dave, it's funny you mentioned that story because I couldn't help but think as I was watching this show, particularly the second angle where Brock came out and, and broke his arm. You know, I couldn't help but think as I was watching that if Cody had been the champion. Yes. Boy, would lose. there be a great deal of intrigue going into the show this weekend. It would be a great way to lose a championship, right? Well, not just, I mean, whether he loses or he wins, I mean, there's there would be a great deal of, man, what's going to happen on Saturday? The championship's on the line. The champion's got a broken arm. Is Brock going to win the title? Is Cody going to somehow magic? Now it's like, well, you know, the story's there. Is Cody going to win or not? But there's like nothing on the line. It's not like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And then I'm looking at the. Yeah, if he loses, it's like, well, the thing about him losing is that they could use that to delay him going after the winner of the Seth Rollins and H.E. Styles match. Um, and perhaps. Um, but if he has a broken arm, I mean, it's like you, you take him out of action so he can't challenge for the title for, for how long? I mean. You know, I don't know. Well, well, the other thing, the other point to this is that I was also watching the last couple of shows, and you've got this storyline where Roman Reigns and Solo are challenging Sammy and Kevin for the tag team titles. And I couldn't help but think, you know, if Roman had lost the Universal title, 
With and this was six. merely a tag team championship match where you're thinking, man, is he going to get these titles now? He's, is he going to get his revenge on Sammy and Kevin? He still may, he still may get them, though. But, well, I'm sure. But my, my point of all of this is when, when Cody didn't win and we had to hear Heyman and whoever else go, well, you know, if he wins, what do we have to do with the guy? What can you do with Cody if he's the champion? Well, I'm watching it right in front of my eyes. This would have been a great story with him as champion. And you could have done a great story with Roman going after the tag team titles with Solo. The, the Usos. I mean, all of this, it all would have been just fine. In fact, oh, I would argue it would have been, would have oh, been oh, better oh, no, 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 the last, if no. they had switched the title. Okay, no. The Puerto Rico show in this show, for short term, Puerto Rico show in this show, obviously would have been had more interest with Cody and Brock as championship match rather than no championship match on the last show and then on this show those scenarios again um, you would have the singles championship match on this show and you'd have Roman Reigns in the tag team championship match so for these two months there's not a doubt there's no arguing I mean I'm sure some people will try to argue there is no arguing that it would have been a superior storyline for both shows for Cody Rhodes to be champion however that doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have an idea to do something that will turn out to be even better than something that well, was I'm sure they have an idea term. that they think is going to be better. Yes, but I mean, I it's, mean... It's, it's 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 long term, and, and, and you know, and like again, like I'm, you know, there's, there's so much going on because you've got to, um, you know, maintain the momentum. It's got to be on a similarly big show. There's a lot of different things that have to do with it, but until it plays out, you know, even you know. Until it plays out, I don't want to say that they are wrong, but I do want to say that, um, you know, I certainly, I, I would have done it the other way. Well, after for, two months of seeing it play out, I can tell you that two months so far. Oh, oh, oh for the two months. It's not, there, been wrong. For, for, no, no, no. I mean, maybe long term it'll end up fine, but for the first two months, I mean, it would have been significantly better with him oh. as champion. No, there's no, there's, you can't even make that argument that, that, that it wouldn't be. I'm sure some people, like I said, some people will try, but there's no argument that, that the, Last show main event, which was Cody and Brock, there's no argument that if the championship was involved in that match, then that becomes a bigger match. And in this one, it's the same thing. If Cody was with Brock and Cody has the broken arm going into the Brock match and Roman Reigns going for the tag team title, which is a bigger show, the one, that, the one we have now or the one that we could have had with Cody's champion. So it's two in, it's two in a row. But again, like, um, you know, Maybe they have a storyline where, you know, Cody has to go through a broken arm and Cody has to go through this and we're wanting him and we're they're holding it off from us. And then when he gets it, it will end up being even bigger. I mean, you can't discount that, you know. I mean, we have to wait and see. So, you know, I got an open mind on it. I mean, I, I haven't seen anything that makes me think he shouldn't have won the title. Um, but there, I haven't seen anything that makes me think he should not have won the title at WrestleMania. But... You know, they've got, you know, however long it is to um, prove that uh, that they have a better idea. And, 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 you know, maybe they do. I don't discount that at all. I mean, they're doing – their booking has been, you know, pretty good. And, the you know, tonight's show, I mean, it's like the, the, the positive is is that I think that the broken arm thing adds intrigue to this match in Saudi Arabia and makes the card a little bit bigger. On the flip side, it's like, okay, he's got a broken arm. Is he going to start? Is he going to be gone after this match for a while? And maybe there's a reason he has to be gone. I don't know. Um, and they're just doing this as a cover, and it's not necessarily like a, a great storyline idea. It's just something that was necessary. Because, you know, so so often in WWE, most of the time in WWE when they do a big injury angle, it's because somebody's actually really hurt, and they're writing them off. And in this case... You know, um, it doesn't, I mean, I don't, I mean, he's wrestling on the show, so it's not writing him off right now. Um, but maybe there's some, re, you know, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. But if they're just taking him off and then, uh, you know, he's back, let's let's say he's back in two weeks on house shows going through this and he's just going to be on the house shows with a broken arm wrestling. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, that's not necessarily the worst thing either, I suppose, but it's kind of like kind of weird you know you got a broken arm and you're doing a whole house show run but uh yeah gotta wait and see how this 
all plays out and um, could just be a good excuse for Brock to get a win. And, you know, Brock having a win. Brock having a win is not the worst thing if Cody's going to end up as champion anytime soon because, uh, you know, you do want to build up contenders and Brock is always a viable contender. You can also find me at Vincent Verhey on Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, Microsoft. And I g go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are. You're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Hold on, okay. Wait, what? Just, what? Just stop You're for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial... I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony, and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny who's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.